everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another How to Build video where I show you to build cool stuff inside of Minecraft. And man, I have not said that in a very long time. I actually wanted to start a lot sooner, but I was very sick. I had a very sore throat. I couldn't get out of bed, and you can kind of hear me right now. I still sound a little stuffy, but I feel a lot better today, and I really wanted to get on with the tutorials because I haven't done them in such a long time. And today I thought would be a very fun one because I'm going to show you guys how to build a working <laughs> garbage truck yes i'm actually inside of my working garbage truck right now now uh normally you wouldn't have a house inside your garbage truck but i thought that'd be a cool little add-on if you don't want to put a house in here you absolutely don't have to but you there's a bed there's a chest there's a furnace there's an ender chest there's even an anvil a cauldron and a brewing stand inside of this garbage truck now you could change up the cab however you'd like to all you really need is this back area because we're going to be doing some redstone back there and i wanted to make it completely seamless underneath so you can't see any of the redstone that's what i really love about this garbage truck so right back here it's like any other garbage truck it's a little open area right here all we have to do is just take our stuff it works like my garbage can if you've ever seen my working trash can slash garbage can you know you just throw this stuff at it however i made it so the stuff stays right on top of it before it actually gets compressed by the garbage truck maybe you want to shove your friend in here and make him get compressed by the garbage truck uh, i won't kill him but you can you know you can just trap your friend in here if you really want to but we throw all our items in there and the cool thing about that is too is if you throw something in there that you want you know you can go grab it and then come back but we're going to throw all our items back here then we're going to come back to the front of our garbage truck where we can go ahead and pull down this lever which will compress all of our items and it will throw it out so as you can see it is working right now the back of the garbage truck will close up because it just compressed all of our items and then if we come back up here in the front hand side of the cab once again and flip back up this lever we'll come back to the back hand side and you'll see that all the items are now gone they have been compressed by the garbage truck i know it's a lot to deal with there's a lot of redstone that goes into this stupid garbage truck but it's absolutely awesome and i absolutely love it so let's go ahead and look at some of the redstone down here it's nothing crazy and i also made it so it's only three deep because i know a lot of you guys still have your flatlands world and you always like to have things three deep because that you don't have that extra space to work with so everything is only three deep if you have a larger world you can go ahead and change the lava down here to a cactus so you don't have to hear that bubbling sound from the lava but everything's only three deep there is all the redstone so let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial guys all right guys so we're going to be doing all the redstone that's going to be underneath our garbage truck right here now like i said if you want to change up anything on the garbage truck you can absolutely go ahead if you have a cooler looking garbage truck than mine absolutely go ahead and do it it's completely up to you so what we're going to do is first place down the wheels and then get started on the redstone underneath but we need to know where our garbage truck is going first so the back wheels is going to be one two and then we're going to count over six blocks from here so one two three four five six placing in another block here and then just skip over four blocks so as you see there's two in between and then go back here and place in two more like that so now we know exactly where our garbage truck is going now what i want you to do is just pretty much dig around your garbage truck to right about here and we're just going to dig down three we're just going to dig down three around the whole thing i know that's a lot but it's just going to make it a lot easier for us to see everything so if you're on a flatlands world you know just dig down to the bedrock you're going to see bedrock right down there i made sure that it's only three deep for anyone who still has those old flatland worlds so here we go all right guys so we are going to be using lava for this so you're going to have to use a block that does not burn so you know just use cobblestone or something like that if you're doing this in a survival world so what we're going to start by doing is right here is going to be at the back of our garbage truck we're going to come in one of the wheels right here off the right hand side come over in one and place a block right down here where we dug down three next up we're going to place in a dropper off the side of this block next up take out your hoppers and place a hopper right on top of that dropper by going into sneak and or crouch mode and place it in like that place another one right on top of that one and then place another one going into the side of that one and that's where we're going to be throwing our items into the back of our garbage truck and it's going to funnel down into this dropper right here and it's going to go ahead and throw them out for us next up what we're going to do is set up the redstone down here which is going to activate our dropper which is going to push the items into our lava so if you want to go ahead and place in your lava right now you absolutely could do that too so our lava is going to be going right here so we're going to place in three more blocks like this and then place our lava like that and then place in some more blocks around it like this so it can't escape the lava. So our item's going to get chucked into the lava and burn. So next up, come to the middle of your garbage truck and going into the side of that dropper, we're going to place another block and place a redstone comparator going into it. Next up, we're going to come to the other side of the dropper, place a block down here, place a piece of redstone right up like this, place a block up next to that redstone like that. Then we're going to go ahead and place a repeater coming out of this block on one tick delay. Place a block in front of it and a piece of redstone going back into the side of our comparator. Make sure your comparator is in subtraction mode by left clicking on it or right clicking if you're on the PC. And as you can see, that little front part will come up. 
Next up, we're going to go ahead and take out a normal piston. So go over to your piston section and take out a piston. Place a piston facing upwards. And then we're going to place a block in front of that piston. Now, this will be your road. So if you have this on a road or something like that or a cobblestone pathway, make sure you pick that. Because like I said, this whole entire thing is seamless. You can see completely underneath it. So I'm going to make the underneath, I guess. Let's go ahead with a nice cobblestone road. So I'm going to go ahead and take out some cobblestone. I'm going to place a piece of cobblestone right on top of this piston like that. Next up, we're going to need some furnaces and a wooden shovel. So I'm going to take out a furnace and two wooden shovels. I'm going to place a furnace right back here and place in a wooden shovel inside of it like this. And you can see it will start activating our garbage truck. So that will make it work. So if I throw any item inside of here, it will burn it. So let's put our lava bucket in here. Boop. And it went to me instead. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. And it will burn from the lava. And then when we take away the block, it turns off. And that's pretty much how the entire thing is working. So I'm going to place this right here. It's going to start activating it. And now what we're going to do to turn it off. We're just going to place a block right here next to the piston. And we're just going to bring our redstone down like this and go like that. Boop, and it will push it up, turning it off. Next up, we're going to place in the bottom sticky pistons for our garbage truck. This is the closing mechanism in the back. So we're just going to place in two sticky pistons right here. One, two. And then we're going to place in our compressing doors, which is going to be our staircase. You can change up the colors however you like. I'm just going to be placing in two stone brick stairs. Now we're going to hook up the redstone for the doors. And we're also going to hook up the redstone so our items don't automatically funnel right in. We want to make sure that they stay up there so you can see the trash inside of the garbage truck before it actually gets dispensed out. So for this part, we're going to need our redstone torches. We're going to need our redstone. And we're going to need our redstone repeaters. And I'm pretty sure... The rest of the items shouldn't melt from the lava. I don't want to be too... <laughs> I don't want to put anything in that will burn from the lava. So, you know, we're just going to keep rolling with uh, the... Let's take out stone this time instead of the block of quartz. I'm going to roll around with stone for just a little bit. But we're also going to need our wooden shovel right here for a second. So now what we're going to do is swing back over here where our furnace is. And then where our redstone is right in the middle of it, we're going to place in a block. And place in another furnace with another wooden shovel inside of it like that. And then on this side, we're going to place in a block and place a redstone comparator coming out going this way. And this is going to activate our doors and it's going to activate this. So it lets all the items funnel into the build. So let's go ahead and just make sure that this hopper right here does not funnel the items through until we flip down the lever in the front. So all we have to do is just place a redstone torch right here on the second wheel of our garbage truck. And then we're just going to send power from this redstone comparator over to this redstone torch. So we're just going to place two blocks like this. One, two, place a piece of redstone here. And then place a repeater going into this redstone torch right here on one tick delay. Next, we want to make sure that our door closes when it starts compressing the garbage. So what we want to do is send power to this wheel right here. So we're going to come one block underneath. So this is going to be part of your road. Make sure you pick a color of your road. Like I said, I'm going to be using a cobblestone for mine. So I'm going to quickly go take out my cobblestone, place a piece of cobblestone right next to the wheel. And then place in a redstone torch off the side of it. As you can see, it will activate it. Place another block down with another redstone torch. And then it will deactivate the compressing door. Then we're going to place a repeater going into that block right here. And then we're just going to bring the redstone right from here down to this redstone repeater. So if you want to quickly go ahead and just test out to make sure everything is working, just break this redstone right here. Break this block and place it right down here like this. Boop. As you can see, it will compress the door. And then, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and make sure that the items are working too. So if I throw an item right here on top of this hopper, boop. As you can see, it won't funnel in. However, once I activate my garbage truck, boop, it will drop it in and it will go ahead and throw it right into the lava. Perfect. And now we could go ahead and just place this back here boop, and it will turn everything off. Now we have to hook up this side over here. So what we have to do is just bring the redstone from here over to there. So we're going to actually have to come out one more right here. Just have to come out one more. There we go. I'm going to have to come out one more over here as well. I believe I might not have to. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I do. So I'm just going to come out one more right there. So all we have to do is just bring our redstone in a big U shape. So come down like that and bring it right over to right here. Place our block up. Place our redstone torch. Place a block on top of the redstone torch. You will be able to see this block, so make sure you're using your road coloring of choice. And then go ahead and place another redstone torch right here off this side. And I didn't want to do that, so I'm going to quickly go like that. And there we go. So that should be the second door done. And now we want to make sure that this does not let any of our items funnel in. So we're going to pretty much do the exact same thing we did there. However, it's going to take three redstone torches to do this part. So we're going to place in our block of choice. Then we're going to place in our redstone torch off the side. This will lock those hoppers. Then we're going to come down another block right here, placing in a redstone torch. And that will turn it off. And then we're going to place in another block right next to this one with another redstone torch off the side of it like that. Place a repeater going into the block and then a piece of redstone right here. And that will lock that hopper as well. So now everything 
should be working so if i throw any items on here as you can see it will not go into the hopper until i turn it on so let's go ahead and just throw all our garbage right here there we go and then if we want to test it out all we have to do is just break this redstone and then i <laughs> do out my flooring blocks and break this and then place it in boop it will let all the items funnel in and then it will start throwing them out into our garbage truck destroying everything and then of course once we flip up the lever once again from the inside it will turn everything off perfect our garbage truck is working absolutely fine so like i said if you want to decorate your garbage truck however you like everything is underneath the everything is underneath so you can pretty much completely decorate your garbage truck however you would like to decorate it so now what we're going to go ahead and do is i guess we could go ahead and clean up this floor i want to make sure we know where our lever is so i'm just going to add in the flooring blocks i have for the outside of my garbage truck right here like that and like that there we go and we can go ahead and add in the back ones right here so we can't see anything back here as well cobblestone probably wasn't the best choice it doesn't look that great it really <laughs> it really doesn't so you know i'm gonna go ahead and just put in my polished ant site right here so it looks good like that there we go perfect 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 and then we're gonna go ahead and place in a few more blocks like this there we go place a block right in here so we can't see place a block right here so we can't see underneath there there we go and i just want to make sure that i remember this is my lever block so i'm going to go ahead and keep that one open just for now like that there we go so this will remind me that that's my lever block but we're going to get into that really soon all right so now to hook up the lever on the inside remember this is our lever block right here it's right above that piston we're going to place in a slab upside down right above the block that's above the piston then we're going to place a sticky piston facing downwards into this so come up two blocks come right here into this little hole and place in a sticky piston facing downwards now now i'm going to be using a black hardened block on top of this you can do any color that you want place it right on top of your sticky piston place the lever off the side of it and that's it that's completely everything so we flip it down boom the doors come up underneath and i don't know why i did that little judder right there kind of annoying me a little bit but it works fine but as you see boop it turns it on and then boop it it turns off so on and off. i don't know why it's doing that quick little you know what i know why it's doing it. it's this redstone right here that's probably making it do that and you know what I, I don't really have anything to stop that do i oh you know what we could put in a slab right here let's go ahead and put a slab in here instead so get rid of this and then go ahead oh that's right that's there uh we could put we could put a staircase here we could put a staircase here so take out a staircase instead and place in a staircase like this backwards no no place it forward forward there we go so that should actually stop that from doing that quick little judder that's probably what's doing it so let's see Yep, that's what was doing it. Yep, 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 yep. So if, it, if you're a little OC problems like me and you want to fix that, all you have to do is place a stair there instead of a normal block. So there we go. Perfect. And now what we can also do is place in some carpet right above these hoppers so we don't have to see those hoppers by going to sneak mode and placing our carpet right above it. So now what we're going to do is the top portion of the door. So when we flip it down, the top portion of the compressor comes down and turns off the garbage. So to do that is quite simple. All we have to do is come right to where our lever block is, place a, a piece of redstone on top of it, a block up from the redstone another piece of redstone right here a block going towards the back area of our garbage truck with a repeater coming out of that redstone so now we're going to go ahead and take out a repeater really fast place a repeater going this way set it to four ticks to light place a block up in front of it a block to the side with another piece of redstone right here and then we're going to place in two sticky pistons facing downwards one two then we're going to go ahead and take out our staircasing of choice i'm going to be using my stone bricks we're going to place two in upside down right on top of those sticky pistons and that's going to be the top portion of our compressing door and that's it so now when we flip down boop it will close up our back of our garbage truck like that and compress all of our items and then when we flip it up boop it will open it up it's a little bit slower but that's because we have to push that piston up for the bottom row and we would have to do a lot more redstone if i didn't make it go that slow next up we could place in our back walling for our garbage truck right like that and now we can go ahead and build our garbage truck that's the whole entire redstone mechanism so if you want to build your garbage truck however you want to build it go ahead and do it now but we're going to go ahead and just build the one that i built over there which i don't think looks too bad and i don't think this looks like a bad garbage truck i don't know why you need a area to sleep inside of it but i did it in. all right guys so we're going to start by building this little back cab area of our garbage truck so we're going to take out some lime hardened clay and some green hardened clay for the surrounding of our garbage truck so we're just going to place down lime going all the way around this part so start from the back wheel and just bring it over until it's one block away from this wheel right here as you see it's one block away from that wheel and we'll do the same thing on this side over here so one two three four five six like that with our lime hardened clay and then we're gonna go ahead and place it coming up four blocks so one two three four and then just bring it back this way one two three four five and then we're gonna come out an extra one right here and just come up two 
one two and place in a stone brick staircase right back here and we're just going to bring that around the whole entire back side and do the same thing over here come out one more and then come up two boop boop and then just bring that over in a big square motion like that boop boop and then and then just fill in the rest with your green hardened clay like that there we go and do the same thing on this side fill in the rest with your green hardened clay and that's going to be the back of it and then we're going to go and take out our slabs and just place slabs going right along the whole entire bottom area i'm going to do the same thing right down here just fill in the rest of this area with our slabs so bring slabs right here here and just bring that all the way around coming all the way to the back like that and you can just actually bring this right up to the front if you want to <laughs> just bring the slabs going all the way to the front because actually it's going to be the whole entire bottom of our uh truck so we're just going to go boop boop and place slabs going right around this whole back area and you can bring it out one more on the front hand side as well so do 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 there so there is the back side of our garbage truck and then the top area is going to have green carpet so we're going to place some green carpet here here place some green carpet here place a block right here and place in some more green carpet and then just place two green carpets here one two one here like that there we go and then we're going to place in our cab over here so we don't have to fill in any of this just yet now this part is completely up to you if you want a sleeping quarters inside your garbage truck if you want to make your garbage truck your house you absolutely can you do not have to do this but this is for people that actually want to do it so right here next to this piston we're going to place down a piece of glowstone to give us some lighting inside of our garbage truck house yes i just said that a garbage truck house and then we're going to place an anvil on top of it then right in front of it, we're going to place in a cauldron with some water inside of our cauldron with a brewing stand right on top of it then right here we're going to go ahead and actually break this block yes we're going to break it it's going to break a few things up here i'm going to place in a crafting table instead and we're going to place our redstone on top of our crafting table and put in our lever again so redstone here we're going to have to place in our two carpets right on top of it like this. One, two. And then we're going to take out our lever and place a lever right off the side of that crafting table in sneak mode. So go in sneak and or crouch mode and place your lever right off of it. So as you see, it still works. And it still turns off. Perfect. Then right here, we're going to go ahead and place in a furnace. Then we're going to take out our bed and place a bed right here off of the backhand side. Next up, right above the lever, we're going to place in another furnace here and another furnace here. So now we have three furnaces to work with. And then right here, we're going to place in one more piece of glowstone and an ender chest like that and then right in front of the ender chest and the furnace we're going to go in and place in two more chests like so and that's going to be our whole entire little living quarters for in case you want to live inside of your garbage truck and then just to hide everything i just took out some wooden trap doors and placed them right on top of my bed like this and then we can go ahead and close it up and there's our little living quarters inside of our garbage truck and then next up you know just go ahead and take out some slabs and place some slabs and upside down up to the, the green part of your truck and then we're going to go ahead and place in some more carpet right along it like that. And there we go. So now we're going to make the cab of our truck. All right, guys. So to get started on the cab portion of our truck, we're going to take out our stone bricks. And starting from where the wheel is, come out two stone bricks like this and two on this side as well. Next up, take out your stone brick stairs and place two stone brick stairs upside down off the front portion of your truck. Then we're going to take out our glass panes and place in four glass panes right along the front. And then two pieces of glass on the sides. Next up, take out your spruce doors and place a spruce door here place a spruce door on this side as well next up we're going to take out our stone brick stairs and we're going to place stone brick stairs going around the entire side of it so one here here just go around the entire top portion of the glass with your stone brick stairs all the way around until you reach the top of this door right here next up we're going to go ahead and take out our stone slabs and place stone slabs going right along these portions of the truck like that and then we're going to come up one more right here one here and one here and you know what? i forgot come up one more and just place in your stone brick stairs upside down do not place in two there or you won't be able to open this chest so we're just going to place in one like that there we go and then we're going to take out our cobblestone walls and place a cobblestone wall here and here and then you could do the cobwebs going up into smoke area we'll do that as well but there is the front hand side then we're going to place in two item frames off the front of it and then i used white stained glass panes for the front lights and then also for the back lights you could place in two right here and then take out some red Gla stained glass panes sorry <laughs> so red stained glass panes there we go place them here one two and then we're also going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this truck right here i forgot with our green like that so there is the back of our truck there is the front of our truck right here and then if you want to you could take out some cobwebs and make it look like it is moving so well stationary moving so there's our cobwebs so we're just going to go like this one two and then we're going to come up one is that what i did i came up one yeah on that side and then we're going to come over one like that and come up one more like that there we go and then on this side we're going to come up one and then over one like this two one two like that and then we're going to go ahead and place in the smoke on the same side right there and there is our cobble smoke thingy 
whatever. <laughs> so there's our trucks. Now what we have to do is just go around the outside with some item frames. And I believe I use quartz blocks for this. I believe I use quartz blocks. Yes. You can change this to whatever you like as well. I'm going to just do my quartz blocks on the sides right here. And right here for the hubcaps of our garbage truck. And that should be almost everything. Almost everything. We're going to come in here. And we're going to go ahead and place in our seating area for the front of our truck as well. So what I did was I just used rails. Mine carts, place in two rails, one, two, and then place in two mine carts. So one, two, and there we go. Now we can sit inside of our garbage truck. And there you guys have it. There is the entire garbage truck completely done with living area. So let's go ahead and get a nice little outside view of it. And we'll make sure that everything is working. So there is our awesome garbage truck. And you know what? I did not finish the flooring over here. So I'm going to quickly speed up the video here. I'm just going to go ahead and change out my flooring right here. Or else it's going to bug me. All right. I quickly went ahead and switched out the floor. But there is the outside of our garbage truck. This is how it looks when it is completely done. Like I said, you can change up the garbage truck however you would like to. We did all the redstone in the beginning. So you can make it look however you want it to look. But let's go ahead and make sure everything is working. So we're going to swing back here. Throw out some stuffs. Let's go ahead and throw out all of this stuff out. We don't want any of this stuff. Do I have anything about? Yeah, we we have a bunch of stuff in my inventory. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw the rest of this stuff out as well. There we go. There we go. And that is all the stuff we want to chuck out. We don't want any of that stuff anymore. So we're gonna come back over here, flip down our lever, and send this stuff to the garbage. So boop. And as you can hear, everything is getting burned underneath. It compressed all of our items in the backhand side. And then once we are done, we just come over here flip of our lever and everything is now completely burned away as you see nothing is back here anymore but there you guys have it that is how you build a working garbage truck inside of minecraft if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos and guys i'm happy to be back and i can't wait to start up on some more crazy tutorials all right guys peace